Okay, in the previous video, we were calculating percents of a number, uh, starting with 50%, 25%, and 10%. Now, if you haven't, um, if you haven't had practice doing that and you don't know what you're doing as far as calculating percent mentally, you should watch that other video first and then come to this one. Okay, so um, right now we have figured out how to calculate 50%. That's by dividing by 2. 25%, that's by dividing by 4 or dividing by 2 twice. 10%, that is dividing by 10 or uh, what's much easier to work with or deal with or just keep in your mind is moving the decimal one space to the left. Okay. We are now going to uh, try a couple of other things. We're going to work on 1%. That's what we're going to do next. Okay, so I want you to look at what I've got here. I'll just change colors here. Oh, maybe I won't. Yes, I will. Okay. Um, what is 100% of 123? That is correct. 123. I wasn't trying to trick you. Okay. Where's my decimal in that number? 123. That's right. It's right at the end. Okay. Now, what is 10% of 123? 12 and 3 tenths. That is correct. Now, with that in mind, what do you think 1% of 123 is? That's right. 1 and 23 hundredths. So when we are trying to figure out 1% of a number, what are we doing? Yeah, we are moving the decimal two places to the left. For 10%, we're moving it one place to the left. For 1%, we're moving the decimal two places to the left. Now, I'm not going to go over this, but can you figure out how to calculate one-tenth of a percent of a number? <laughs> I'll let you mull that one over. We will not be talking about that one today. But it's the same pattern, so knock yourself out. Okay, so let's do uh, a couple practice ones here. Let's do, I'm going to switch colors again. Let's go green. Let's go 1% of uh, 345. What is that? 3 and 45 hundredths. Was 1% of 65 and 7 tenths. What's 1% of that? You bet. 1 and 657 thousandths. See, we just moving the decimal two places, right? Every single time. Same with the 10%, you're moving it one to the left. With 1%, you're moving it two to the left. Nothing tricky. Let's do one one more. One percent of you could even have goofy numbers. It doesn't matter how goofy the numbers are, because it's a simple process. One percent, you move that decimal two places to the left, you should have three and eight thousand nine hundred and sixty-four ten thousandths. And that's, that's how you do it. Piece of cake. Okay? Easy peasy. Okay. I'm going to move on. Um, we're going to move on now to calculating 5% of a number. So let's jot that down. So I'm going to put a question up here. 5% of 80. Now I want you to think for a second. Pause the video if you need to. Think for a second, how would you go about figuring out 5% of 80? Remember, we don't want to make this difficult. This needs to be easy peasy. So 5% of 80, how would you do that? Okay, I'm going to explain how you do that. So I know how to do 10% of a number. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go 10% of 80. What is 10% of 80? 
you're going to move that decimal one space to the left, that would be 8. Now, 5 is half of 10. 5% 5 is half of 10%. So I'm going to take that 8, and I'm going to divide it by 2 as well, and that gives you 4. 5% 5 of 80 is 4. Okay. Let's do another one. 5% of 60. Okay, I'm going to take a moment here and you figure that out. Okay, now that you've had a little bit of time to think about it, this is how we do it. First we go 10% of 60, which is simply 6. We move the decimal over one space and we have 6. 5% is half of 10%, so we got to go half of 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 5% of 60 is 3. Okay, let's give you some to work on now. And I'll leave that one up there as kind of a model. So I want you to calculate 5% of 46. 5% of, I should give you a little bit easier ones here, hey? 5% of, actually this is a good one to do. It's an easy one, but it's actually kind of useful. 5% uh, of um, 36. Okay, so pause the video and give those ones a try. Okay, so 5% of 46 is going to be none other than that is 11.5. 5% of 20 is going to be 1. Oh, sorry. I, I made a mistake. I, I was doing something completely different. Let's try that again. 5% of 46 is going to be uh, 2.3. Wow, where was my head? 5% of 20, you bet, that's going to be 1. And 5% of 3.6, this one's a little trickier because you got to work your, uh, your decimals a little bit more. It's going to be 1.8. That's a tricky one. Okay, anyways, the premise is when you're figuring out 5% of something, you figure out 10% first, cut it in half, and you are there. All right, now I'm going to move on. I'm going to introduce combinations. Okay, these are combinations. So now that you've got all these, you actually are capable of figuring out any percent mentally. But I'm going to start easy. Let's go 60% um, of 40. <laughs> there are actually more than one way. There's more than one way to figure these out. Um, so we're going to go over a couple of them. So take a pause. And try and figure out 60% of 40. How would you go about doing that? Remember, it's got to be easy. Okay, here's one solution. Um, I know 50%. 50% is easy, easy to work with, right? So what if I do 50% of 40? That would be 20. And then 10% of 40, which is 4. You add them up. And you get 24. So you know how to do 50. You know how to do 10. So you automatically know how to do 60. There is another way to do it. You could do, okay, I like working with 10% actually. It's my fave. So 10% of 40 is 4. How many 10% are in 60%? There's six of them. So we go 6 times 4 would give us 24. Not 60% of 40. See, no, so the idea now is that you're using combinations to figure out these different percents. So you could then, um, I'm not going to go through all these, but what about 35%? How would you do that one? Well, that's 25% um, plus a 10% piece of cake. What about 15%? Um, that's a 10%. Oops. That's 10% and 5% together. 
And then you can go, well, we can throw out some other big ones. What about um, 85%? There's lots of different ways you can do it. Um, you could do, I'm going to do, you could do 10%. Ten percent, and then times it by eight, and then you do another five percent, and then you'd add those together. So now that you've got those, you can do any combination. Even because you know how to do one percent, you could even give me, you could even find seventeen percent, thirty-nine percent of a number you could do mentally. Okay. So if you know how to work these, you are golden. You are you're doing a, a great job.